how to survive in a stressful situation four things for simple things that you can do to help you to go through a stressful event in your life hi guys my name is elena semenek and this is my youtube channel psychology of happiness welcome if you're new to my channel subscribe because on this channel i share videos about self-esteem money health relationships uh, anxieties and I share with you simple exercises that you can do at home to help yourself to become happier and more successful in life so subscribe and uh, don't miss the next video today we're gonna talk about stress and uh, in today's video I will share with you four things that you can and probably should do if you are in a stressful situation I have a different video which is called how to lower stress in your life where I share seven tips uh, or things that you can do to minimize the stress uh, in your life but today we're gonna talk about what to do if you are under stress if something happens something unexpectedly happens so maybe you expected it but you did not know that it's gonna be that intense so when you are in a stressful situation in a hard situation when you feel discomfort tension and pressure what can you do to help yourself okay and the first tip i have my notes as usual that's why i'm looking down just in case if you're wondering i always prepare for my videos and i would like to uh, make sure that i give you all the information that i have for you so the first tip is do not forget to breathe a uh, simple tip but people forget about the breathing and then they start either shallow breathing like <laughs> like this or people tense their body and they suppress their breathing so if you are in a stressful situation start breathing in and out and start counting your breaths one two three, four, five. By counting, you are teaching your brain to focus to your breathing from the situation. You are refocusing your brain and already it will give you some sensation that you are managing this situation, some sensation that you are getting in charge you're taking control over your feelings and over the situation once you count till 5 10 and for some people it can be 20 you will feel that slowly it can be a sudden change but you will feel that slowly you feel a little bit better slight chance once you get this feeling make sure that you're switching your breathing pattern into longer breath out and shorter breath in so it's gonna look like this when you're breathing out longer than breathing in it simultaneously gonna come down your inner state so by coming down in your body you're gonna relax your mind so here we go to the step number two is doing something physical when you experience stress you tense your body people uh, often uh, raise their shoulders and maybe you've seen people walking you know on the street or maybe somebody in your office who is always raising their shoulders so raised shoulders means that the person is constantly experiencing some type of stress some people uh, do like this they kind of like pushing their chin out it also tends it's also a stress sign some people constantly uh, you know moving their hands it's also signs of stress so uh, when we are under stress we tense our body we create some blocks in our body because this is how we trying to control to manage the stress and the only tool that we have is our body so we're trying to you know hold our body tight to control our body uh which is kind of symbolically uh tells our brain that we're trying to control the situation so in order for us to control the stress to manage the stress in our life we need to relax 
So step number two is to do something physical. It can be stretching. It can be walking around the neighborhood. It can be dancing in your home. Even if you are in a stress and you're in a really bad mood, you try to turn on your favorite song and try to jump or just to scream or to do something. When I say dancing, it does not mean that you have to, you know, be joyful and smile and dance around in a happy mood. No, you need to some motion in your body so jumping uh punching the back screaming uh running even running in one place will help you so physical any physical activity you can do sit-ups you can um do pull-ups you know anything that comes to your mind is good so step number one is to focus on your breathing and make sure that you are breathing out longer than breathing in. Step number two, doing something physical. Step number three is taking small steps. Ask yourself, what can I do to help myself to feel better? Uh, the answer should not be about solving the problem. The answer is not about finding the solution. The answer should be about feeling better. So maybe right now you have no idea how to deal with the situation. Maybe it looks or sounds like there is no uh, exit in the situation. Or maybe there is a bad news and you cannot do anything about the situation. So you have to remember that finding the solution and helping yourself to feel better are two different things. So when you're asking yourself, what can I do? to help myself to feel better. The answer might be drink some water, drink some tea, uh, do some meditation, call a friend, call a parent, uh, go outside and uh, uh, look, at the, uh, look at the weather, listen to the music, or maybe just you know sit in a silence for 10 minutes. This answer should come from, from your heart. So when you are asking yourself, what can I do to help myself? You are uh, asking your higher self, you are uh, asking your subconscious mind to show you the resources, the energy that you have somewhere inside of you. We all have power that we are not aware of. So when you're asking yourself, what can I do? You're bringing yourself from a victim state of mind to a powerful state of mind. You're changing your mindset. You're refocusing your brain from feeling terrible in the situation to trying to, you know, come down and feel at least okay in the situation. So again, the question is, what can I do to help myself to feel better? And please write in the comments or share your thoughts and ideas how we actually can help ourselves to feel better. So my idea is, is to drink some tea, to drink some water, go for a walk, call a friend, call a parent, maybe do some journaling, uh, do some meditation. So this is these are my ideas. What else? Please share your ideas. Let's create like a whole list, big list of ideas that other people can read and help each other. And finally, step number four, how you can help yourself in a stressful situation is ask for help. Call your friend, call your coworker, call your therapist. This is exactly the situation where you should contact your therapist because this is what we can help you with, the therapist, the life coach, the mentor. Call somebody professional that you know who can help you. Because if you have uh, pain in your tooth, you go to dentist. If you have pain in your heart, you go to cardiologist. So if you have some stressful situation, if you have some pain, or if you are in some panic attack, or if you are in some hopeless feeling and you are overwhelmed, call your therapist. Sign up for an uh, emergency session and ask for help. Don't feel that you are alone. Don't feel that nobody can help you. Even by talking to a person, you can uh, somehow release your emotions and little by little, you can help yourself to find the solution to the stressful situation. So on this note, of course, I would like to invite you to my private sessions, to my group therapy, and uh, consider subscribing to my online uh, courses. All the links will be below 
under this video. So thank you very much for watching and please help me to promote this channel, help me to help other people like you to find it by sharing it on your social media and through email and through other ways that you know. Please spread up the word about me. My name is Elena Semenek and about my channel Psychology of Happiness. And consider subscribing to my weekly self-development newsletters where I send my tips, my articles and some exercises that you can do at home and become happier and more successful in life. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye.